So for anyone who loves entertaining in style and great serveware and like to serve delectable treats on beautiful serveware, you have got to watch this video, guys. I am obsessed with this, okay? And this was my first time at doing a resin tear tray and I am in love. So I will get into how I made this. But first, thanks so much for stopping by. You're so welcome and you're so appreciated. Okay, so I got this new resin off of Amazon that I'm in love with. It works perfect. I'm going to leave this in the description bar below because if you're not too into resin, this would be perfect to start with. It's so amazing. So I went ahead and mixed it for five minutes and um, I have these silicone molds. It actually comes with everything that you need provided in the kit. You get the molds and you also get the hardware. So I'm going to be using this pearl white mica powder. I only used a little bit. A lot of this would not be too good if you don't want it to be too opaque. But it has a really pretty pearly sheen to it. It's gorgeous. You can build up on your color. So I would say maybe just add a little bit first and then add more later. So after I mixed it till it was really, you know, mixed really well, um, you really can't see what it looks like on the camera, so I'm going to cut the camera down a little bit. So I went ahead and mixed that up, and I'm just going to go ahead and pour it out now, guys. This was my first attempt at... Um, doing three tier tray with resin but I was uber excited about trying it I've had these molds forever but I just really never got around to it so this is like my first attempt and um, yeah I wanted to take you guys along for the ride for my first attempt so as you can see I only put it on one side I'm gonna go back with my clear I only wanted to use two colors and I really wanted this to have that look of like that negative space that I love. So I just use the clear and the pearl white and uh, yeah. Now I do have these metallic glitter gravels. <clears throat> I saw Tish on our channel, uh, Naptime Creations. She had these when she made some um, coasters and I absolutely loved it. So of course I went and got some. And um, uh, it's great to get inspired by other DIYers or creators. <clears throat> so I absolutely love the way this turned out. As you can see, I just poured it on one side. I wanted mine to just be very, very noticeable, like it was like just gold that was just drizzled like a river or something through it. I can't really describe it, but yeah, I just love it. I love the way the texture of it looks. And yeah, so I didn't put anything else. This is it, guys. And then I went back over it and I'm putting some more clear epoxy over it to make sure that it's completely covered and then I'm gonna actually go to the other side so that way it doesn't get too muddy with the pearl white um, blending in with that gold and I just want to separate it a little bit more by putting some more clear in between also. Now I'm just going to go back and push it down to make sure that it's definitely covered with the epoxy. And um, I'm going to go back and drizzle a little bit more of the pearl white on the other side where it's completely clear to give it some more texture. And I'm going to go back on the other side where the pearl is and just swirl it around. You don't want to go to the bottom. You just want to go to the very top of it and swirl it around just to give it a really nice pattern. Um, and like I said, add more texture. So this is what it looks like. I'm just going to go ahead and let it dry for it says 24 hours it should be ready. This is the next day I, I'm going to go ahead and unmold all three of them. And as you can see the silicone mold is coming off really easy and really clean. And I love that. So after I get all of them unmolded I'm going to go ahead and put them together. But as you can see these molds are perfect. They're really clean. 
Now I'll probably have to buy more hardware because you only get one set of hardware with the mold. But this is a really great price and this is what it looks like. So all you have to do is put the washers on and um, just put the screw in. And once you do that, you're just going to flip it over, add another wash, and then just screw it together. And it's so simple and easy, guys. I just love this kit. It's wonderful. I will leave all of this in the description bar below if you guys are interested in trying this. And it was really simple and easy. If I knew it was this easy, like I always say when I'm doing resin, I would have did it a long time ago. <laughs> So I'm just going to add on that last piece. Just don't forget to put in your little um, your little washers in between. And it comes, like I said, with all of this equipment. I'll leave all this in the description bar below if you want to duplicate this. But I absolutely love the way this turned out, guys. It looks like ice. I didn't even go back and use a gold gilding pen or anything on the edge because I absolutely love the negative space that it has. All of that beautiful texture that it's created. It's just gorgeous. And I absolutely love this DIY so if you guys like this please don't forget to give it a thumbs up like and subscribe and hit the bell twice so you're notified whenever I upload more videos and I will see you all in the next video and thank you all for watching